everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you the um, spreads for the month of July. This is how they ended up. And I actually bought this, the um, digital download for the elephant here. Um, I got it from Etsy. I'll, I will have the link to the Etsy shop in the description box below if you're interested and um it's a great thing that you can buy these prints and just have them available and print them a couple of times because i had to print this one a few times before it came out exactly how i wanted it but uh that's where the elephant came from and then i just um colored it in how i wanted it i put some mandalas on all four sides of the paper and then i cut this side so you can see the calendar here i forgot to write the month of july here but i have to write it somewhere either here or up here here are my calendars for my uh, trackers and then i'll just have to track um every day for especially for my reading which is basically everything i track it's just everything regarding my reading but out of the mandalas i started doing this one then I switched things around and I did them a little different. I think this one is my favorite. They're all a little bit different, but this one is my favorite. And then here I started my monthly log. Here I will be doing the stats, um, but you won't see this one filled out until the end of the month. But yeah, this is it as far as the month of July, my spreads. As far as the things that I use, like I said, I used the digital download print that I bought from Etsy. And I started using the Akilograph um, Archer and Olive pens. I was using those and this is how I, um, I started with this one. But I didn't like that it was getting a little too dark even though I had <clears throat> some brighter colors here. Um, so then after I finished this one, so after I used the, these for a bit, I switched it up and I used um, something different. These are also Archer and Olive. I got these um, at um, one of the subscription boxes, the quarterly subscription boxes. Uh, this was one of the items in there, and I used the green, the green one a lot. Um, I used some of the pink one. This is the pink one that you see here, but I used the green one a lot, um, especially like over here and over here. Um, let me move this a little bit. I use, this is the green one that I used here and here, but um, this is a really nice green. I really liked it. So I started using these for some of the mandalas. Then I also used this uh, set. And let me get them all over here. This is a, it's called... It's, they're scented, they're glitter gel pens, and um, I've had these one for the, these uh, pens for a while. I bought them at Second, Second and Charles. They have like a little section for uh, pens and uh, notebooks and all of that stuff. So I got these there a long time ago. And unfortunately, some of them are all dried up. Like this one is all dried up. I couldn't use that one. I couldn't use this one. There's a few of them that are already dried up, but I this red one is done. Um, but I did this one, which was my favorite one of all. Um, this one is also dried up. I used these for the most part, so all of the yellow that you see, I used this one. Um, I used a lot of the purple, as you can see here, here over here with all the flowers. That's this purple here. And I used a lot of this green one too. All the green that you see, not here, but these over here. And some of the glittery green that you see everywhere. That's this one here and I really liked how it came out with this one. But yeah, unfortunately some of the pens were dried so I couldn't use all of them. Um, but the, I had a lot of fun using these glittery ones and it makes me want to get another set just so I can have some more of these um, 
these that are already dried up. But yeah, those are the ones that I use as far as pens. I also use color pencils. These are also Archer and Olive, and these are also from a subscription box. Um, I think it was like four months, no, um, maybe six months ago that I got them. And um, yeah, they came in. This was one of the items in the in the subscription box, and I used it for like inside, just to have like some kind of contrast between the border. Um, for example, this one here, I used a lot for this part of the flower i use the green one a lot for the um leaves um and i think i use the gray one for the i don't think i use these two at all but i use the gray one for the elephant part and i had a lot of fun doing this this is a lot of tedious work um it took me a while to get it done especially when it comes to the elephant i printed a couple of pages and i kind of played with all of the different pens but um yeah it takes a long time to get it done to get it in a way that it took a while for me to get it in a way that i wanted and i think it came out great i really i'm really happy how um of how it turned out but um yeah i'm uh even though it took a lot of work it was worth it so um like i said i will have the link for the etsy shop and yeah those are all the materials i i used and i can't wait to fill this up i can't wait to fill this up and i'm thinking about maybe coloring it in so that's it for the uh plan with me for the month of july i'm um, sorry it's late but let me know in the comments if you liked it and if you did please give me a thumbs up and thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.